is Stephen here, Manchester City versus Bristol, the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. This isn't going to be a full vlog because I'm seeing some old mates and I want to chat to him. There'll be some surprise faces on this video, I'm sure. But anyway, guys, there is the Etihad. I'm hoping for a comfortable victory. The team will be out in about five minutes, so I'll see you in a bit. So, Richard, this is probably my favourite ever gift. I've got a lot of favourites. It's the same as Burnley. <laughs> it's our time in the Bristol game. We're losing 1 0, courtesy of a penalty uh, from Mangala Madness. Uh, but we're in the 1894 lounge. I'm here with Walter. Uh, Walter and that man there, Paul Walsh there. Um, and we're kind of living in like a king today. There's no free food or anything like that, but we kind of would like some tickets here. We're having a reunion. Um, having a reunion. The Blue, the blue Moon Boys are all there. So. <laughs> Where's <laughs> Alex? Where's, Where's Elliot? Elliot? Where's Nobody Elliot? knows. Um, <laughs> no, seriously, where are they? Is anyone here? <laughs> um, send help. <laughs> send help. And send nudes. <laughs> send, send help and nudes. <laughs> Choose which one you want to send nudes of. Maybe Alex. I'm more of an Elliot man. <laughs> but anyway, the hard time, it's hard time of the game in the moment. I'm not really worried because it's like, it's like even a quarter, it's a quarter of the way through the whole time now. Uh, and I'm sure we'll just send on the big boys at some point and we'll score a few goals. And then um, we all need a little bit of Walter's positivity. 4 1. Easy. There we go. Second half's just kicked off. We'll surely get something out of this. We've got a long, long time to turn around anyway, so I'm not overly worried about being honest with you. Yeah, yeah. 
Hello there guys, it's Stephen here. I've just literally got back from the game. I am absolutely exhausted. It's about half ten when I'm recording this. I've legged it home. Um, it wasn't a pretty game, let's be honest. It wasn't a classic by any stretch of the imagination. But did it really need to be? Did it need to be a classic? Of course it didn't. It needed to be, no, well not three points. It needed to be a victory. And that's what we got after a very disappointing first half. After a very niggly game. After a very... Carabao Cup kind of game. We saw it against Wolves, for example. We saw it in, in the other rounds. Uh, this competition hasn't been an easy competition to get through so far, but it doesn't really matter. We are obviously resting players, resting key players. We played a quite strong team, though there were certain people missing that made it difficult for us to be totally fluid. Maybe you know, our usual fullbacks. Um, Fernandinho, the heartbeat of the team, it's obviously shown to me that when he's not there, we struggle immensely. We didn't even have a striker as well on the pitch. Bernardo and uh, Sterling and Sane, they tried pretty hard, but they were a little bit toothless going forward. They didn't have the same instincts that a striker has. I think it was telling that the only person likely to get on one of those delightful whip crosses was Aguero, and he did that again for another last minute when he's got a bit of a record for doing that, hasn't he? But yes, in general, it was not a classic by any stretch of the imagination. I don't really care, to be honest. I don't care. Yeah, the games like this are very difficult against a team that gave it their all where uh, Bristol are a good little team they are uh, the kind of team that I hope to see in the Premiership next season because they got a little bit of fire about them and they came out as more than most teams in the Premiership they didn't really create anything I'm not going to say I say I felt sorry for them they weren't like creating loads of chances they haven't had basically a penalty I don't even know it was a penalty by the way let me know in the comments if it was actually a penalty from where I was sat it was very hard to see obviously I was with Walter and uh, Paul as well not loads going on in that vlog, sorry about that, but I just wanted to kind of chat to my friends there because I've not seen Wall in particular for a while, so it was nice to catch up with those guys, aren't they? Wonderful little people. But yeah, uh, they've got a second leg now. I guess we're going to play a stronger, strong enough team to get through it. I'm sure maybe we'll keep the spine of the team looking pretty strong. I'm sure Fernandinho will play when we do. I'm sure Aguero uh, will play as well. Maybe, maybe it could even be Alexis Sanchez with a little bit of luck. It obviously shows that we do need someone like Alexis Sanchez because a key part of this team is the forward. We haven't got Jesus at the moment, and tonight we have to play without a striker. Him coming and that would be this little boost of said other videos to make sure one trophy becomes maybe two or three potentially and obviously that could be critical for us so fingers crossed we sign Sanchez I'm sure we'll get through and do the job in the second leg I'm not too concerned Bristol will put up a fight I'm sure but that goal kind of crushed him at the end there they'll feel hard done by but we probably deserved it given the fact that we wasted six or seven decent little chances there in general we kind of got to the box pretty well we got into a lot of good spaces we kind of attacked pretty well but we just had no end products when it really mattered uh, and that was our own fault in general, really. The, the defensively, we were pretty poor. I thought we looked a bit shoddy. Um, Mandala. Not good enough, as we know. Zinchenko, I like. He's very new on the ball. I don't think he's a fullback by any stretch of the imagination, but he's obviously very comfortable. I still wasn't overly impressed with him tonight. He didn't do anything wrong as such, but I don't think he was that great. Uh, Danilo, okay. And Stones is still feeling his way back from his injury. I don't think he was that good tonight either. Not that bad, but not perfect either. Obviously, culpable for the penalty, though I don't know if that was actually a penalty or not because I've not seen a replay of that yet. Let me know in the comments. Anyway, guys... Uh, that's this video. I'm going to edit this video now until about probably 1 in the morning, so I'll see you next time. Hello there guys, it's Stephen here. Thanks for watching another video. I appreciate all your views and your comments and your likes and your shares and so on on Twitter and Facebook. You're all absolute stars. If you want to support this channel, please feel free to head over to patreon.com forward slash esteem company. Even the smallest donations helps make this get a little bit closer to being a full-time endeavor one day, which is obviously my dream. But anyway, guys, thanks very much. All you do support, all these names rolling down the screen, you keep this channel going. So thanks very much and see you next time, guys.